So today we're going to learn how to do box braids with the triangle part. Now I'm going to talk step by step and I will be repeating steps so it will be easy for you guys to catch on. So let's go ahead and start. So in this frame, you guys, I'm going to show you how I take it out of the pack, separate it, take the rubber band off the end, and I'm going to cut it in the middle where the rubber band is. Now the hair is 84 inches. That is really long, but if you want it that long, I understand, but I do cut it half and the hair does fall to the top of your butt. So I think that's pretty long enough. So in this frame, I am showing you my beautiful hair model and I am showing you the pack of hair that I'm using, which is expressions. I love expressions and what the hair looks like cut perfectly and added together. It's a lot of hair, right? Now I'm going to pull off the sizing of my braids, as you can see, and that is it. You can pick whatever size you want, but that is a perfect size for me right now. So let's start the video. So in this part, you guys, you're gonna see me parting her hair. Now I am doing medium size parts because I think it'll be really pretty on her. Now keep in mind, it does not matter if you do big or smaller parts, it's this concept will still apply about putting her hair up in the scrunchies, everything. So anyways, whenever I'm done, I'm going to grease her scalp after I finish parting it because nobody wants to dry scalp. And when I'm done with that, I will be using got to be glue to hold the hair in place whenever I put the rubber band on it, as you can tell. So let's keep moving. Keep in mind, you guys, the sizes of your parts is completely up to you. You do not have to do what I'm doing. I just want her head to be full and I want it to be a good size. So that's why you kind of see them a little bit small, but they're still going to be medium sized braids. So now I am finished with all the parts. I do do the parts first and then I start braiding. I know some people do do a row first and then start braiding, but that is not what I do. So let's start the braiding process. So now you're gonna see me wrap the hair around the rubber band and I'm going to start braiding. Now there should be three strands of hair. One of those strands should be your hair. Now, whenever you're starting to get to the middle of your hair, you're gonna hold your hair with your index and your thumb and you're going to separate a piece of the extension hair. Whenever you get that perfectly separated, then you can start, you can add that to your hair and then you can start continuing to braid. It will not look any different. And then keep on continuing to go. So you know I'm gonna show you guys plenty of different times. So here's the next frame. Wrap the hair around the rubber band, continue to braid. Braid all the way down till you feel like you want to stop. Separate the extension hair and add it to your hair. And then continue to keep on braiding. It is really that simple. And as you can tell, it does not look any different. There's no bulges, there's no anything. It looks perfectly fine. Now, sometimes your hair is sticking out and that is what the got to be glue is for. Just take some of it off of your hand and just wipe it onto the braid and your hair will form into it perfectly fine. So 
So go ahead and wrap, braid. You see the piece of your hair. Now go ahead and separate the hair from the extension and add it to your hair. And then continue to keep braiding. I'm glad I showed you guys this frame because it's so much slower and you can kind of see it even better. Now that we kind of had three examples of how to braid your hair, now I'm going to show you guys how to knot the ends. So that should be the next frame coming up. So this is the frame, you guys, that I'm going to teach you how to knot the ends of your hair. Now, whenever you're finished at the ends, take a strand from the loose hair hanging and wrap it around the braid. Now use your finger to make a loop and then you knot it. Knot it three times. That means do the loop and everything three times. And I assure you, it's going to keep your hair in place. Now this is what the ends look like undipped. Another fun fact, whenever you're braiding, if you're almost finished with your braid, kind of measure the length with the other braids so you don't make one any longer, any shorter. So I try to make sure the knots are kind of almost in the same spot. You know, it's kind of impossible, but it, you know, try your best to eye measure it. So you guys, this is the finished look for the braids. You can see the parts are perfect. The hair is full. It turned out great. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to dip your hair because it's fairly easy. You know, all you got to do is fill up a Tupperware bowl with water, put it in the microwave for two minutes to two minutes and 30 seconds, and then take it out the microwave, dip the ends, your loose ends of your hair in the bowl for 15 seconds, take it out, pat it with a towel. That's it, I don't think I need to show you guys that. Now, I will show you the next frame, which this is the completed look. Ends are dipped, everything turned out perfect. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do not follow me on Instagram, my name is Beat by Bria, and please like and subscribe.